Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a vehicle with more than 4 wheels. So let's go. First of all we start up in Blender where we create our vehicle, in my case this truck here. So this truck has 6 wheels as you can see and we will use the Unreal Engine 4 vehicle base rigging. This is a plugin for Blender, link is in the description and this will also work for Unreal Engine 5. We will check the button here, I don't need preset wheels, in this way we can set up as many wheels as we want. These names in the front here are very important because they represent the Unreal Engine bow names later. So we will set everything up and click Rig Vehicle. Then we select all bones and delete them. In this way we can customize the wheels later. We hit File, Export, FBX, select a major and mesh, the X is forward, the Z is up and the rest can be the same and then we hit Export. Back in the Unreal Engine we want to import our truck, so we hit the skeleton mesh, the import mesh and on the material the search location will be all assets and we don't want to import any materials. So we hit import. So we have the skeleton mesh, the physics asset and the skeleton itself. So let's open up the physics asset because we have to fix this. We delete the root here, options, show all bones, we select the root again and set the multi-convex hull and add bodies. Then we select all wheels here, select the sphere and add bodies. So this will be our collision or physics asset as you can see. The next part is the animation blueprint. So right click, animation, animation blueprint. We select our vehicle animation instance and our truck skeleton that we created. Let's call this truck underscore animation blueprint. Open this up. This gets of course a wheel handler. We will connect this here. We get a mesh reference pose and connect this as well. Compile and save this. We are done here as well. The next part is we need the truck wheel. So right click, blueprint class and search for wheel. We have this vehicle wheel. So select this and call this truck underscore wheel. Open this up. And if you open this again, you can see this options here. We have the shape radius. In my case, the wheels have a size of 55. So you can play around with this value here. Compile and save this as well. Usually we would create a wheeled vehicle, but this will not work for a vehicle that has more than four wheels. Instead of this, we go right click, blueprint class, pawn, and we call this truck underscore BP. Open this up. This gets some skeleton mesh as a root component and we will select of course our skeleton mesh right here and put this under skeleton mesh. We can also set the animation class to our truck animation blueprint that we created. We go to the collision part here and we can select the custom one. The collision enable will be collision enabled. We set this to vehicle, we can block everything except for the world dynamic, like this one here. Compile and save this. Now we have to set up the wheels of course. So I prepared a few, this one here. So add component, the static mesh here. We have to copy this of course four times for the back, for the rear end here. And as well for the front I have a different wheel. So let's add them right here as well. Then we select the first one, go to the parent socket here. This will be the rear left one. Then we have the rear left two, the right rear one and the right rear two. Of course, as the front left and the front right. We have to switch around these wheels here, as you can see, like this one. So we have to add up a vehicle movement, of course. So add component, and this will be the simple wheeled vehicle movement, like this one. We go to the wheel setups and add the amount of wheels that we have. Open up the first one. The wheel class is, of course, our truck wheel that we created. The bow name is, in this case, front left, and go on. So I skip the process. As you can see, we set the wheel classes every time to our truck wheel. We set our bone names and disable the steering for the rear wheels. Next up, we select the skeleton mesh again, go to the physics and hit the simulate physics to true. Then we add a spring arm. As well to the spring arm, we add a camera here. 
select the spring arm again, we go up here and use pawn control rotation, check the true, and the target arm length is 450. Pull this out a little bit, move up the camera here, like this one. Great. So we go to the event graph here. Let's start up with the move forward here. So this is different from the normal setup. We pull out the simple wheeled vehicle movement. And instead of setting the throttle input, we set the drive torture. The good part about it, we can set this up for every wheel that we want. So let's start up with the wheel index zero and one. These are the front wheels here. Connect the target, of course, go from the access value. And just for example, let's multiply this by 500 here and connect it to the drive torture. As well that we can turn around the camera, we need the turn event here and we add an jar controller input here. Next up is the steering. For this, we need the variable called steering angle. This will be an float. So we choose the move right here, pull out the simple wheel vehicle movement. So this is also different from the normal setup. Instead of setting the steering input, we set the steering angle here as well for the wheel that we want. So let's keep it to the front wheels like this one. So the problem about it when we just setting this, let's say to an angle of 45 and just connect it to the steering here like this one. It looks fine, it will work as well. But when we hit play, you can see the steering is very hard. It is go straight to the angle that is not very smooth. So let's fix that. Go back to the truck blueprint here. So we can delete this one here and set it to the steering angle that we created like that. We pull this out a little bit back to here, unplug this and we need to check is the access value equal to zero. This will be our first branch like this one. We take out the steering angle and check if it's in range of an angle of minus 45 to plus 45. This is our second branch down here. We go from the access value again and say float plus float and connect it to the steering angle. Then we want to set the steering angle on true to the return value here. And this goes to the set stair angle. This will be our default case. And now we let's go from the steering angle and check if it's below zero. And of course, is it above zero? This will be the first branch up here on true and the second branch down here on false. Again, we pull out the steering angle. We go from the steering angle and say float minus float, in this case minus one, and of course plus one. Then we want to set the steering angle two times. This will be the first true case up here like this one. And this is the second true case up here. And then we just connect this with the set stair angle. And that's it. The last part is the handbrake. This is also different from the normal one. So we type in handbrake, get out the simple wheeled vehicle movement. And instead of set this handbrake input, we set the brake torture. This is similar to the move forward here. So we can decide which wheel has to stop. In this case, let's keep it to the rear ends. So two and three, connect it. And I would recommend a brake torture of 2000 for both of these here. This is for pressed. And of course we have to do this for released as well. So connect the targets of course, and set it back to zero. All right, let's see if this works. We hit play. We can control it smoothly. We can drive forward. Everything works fine. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.